So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral, you see for the constant of integration, of the integral of the square root of x to the 7th times the sine of 9 plus x to the 9 over 2 uh, dx. So the first thing that we have to do, since we're using u substitution, is decide what we're going to choose to be u. So in this case, um, it looks like if we choose what's on the inside, so what's on the inside of sine 9 plus x to the 9 over 2, uh, that's what we're going to choose to be u. Right, so u is going to be equal to 9 plus x to the 9 over 2. And so the next thing you have to do is find the derivative of this. So du, which is the derivative of u. So the derivative of 9 is just 0. So basically, we just got to find the derivative of x to the 9 over 2. So we just move the 9 over 2 down, then it's x, and then we subtract 1. So it becomes 7 over 2. Then we're multiplying by dx. And then next, what we got to do is solve for dx. So we can do that. Um, if we divide both sides by this, 9 over 2 times x to the 7 over 2, and the same thing on this side, we're going to get that dx equals du divided by 9 over 2 times x to the 7 over 2. Cool. So now let's just rewrite our integral. And so we have the square root of x to the 7th. I'm going to choose to write it as x to the 7 over 2 uh, because they're basically the same thing, right? You can just move this up and then this is just a 2. So x to the 7 over 2 times the sine of, and then we replace uh, 9 plus x to the 9 over 2. So whatever our u is, we actually replace with u. So we have that, and then we multiply, or we replace dx with um, what we solve dx to be. So du over 9 over 2 times x to the 7 over 2. So now we got it in this form. What we can realize is that x to the 7 over 2 can cancel with this x to the 7 over 2. Those cancel. Then we have this 9 over 2, we have 1 over 9 over 2, which is just 2 over 9, right? So we can move that out front here. So our integral is going to then become uh, 2 over 9 uh, times the sine of u, du. And so what we got to do here now is find the uh, antiderivative of our function on the inside. So the antiderivative of the sine of u is the minus cosine of u. So we have a constant out front, so it's just going to become minus 2 over 9 times the cosine of u. Um, and then, since we got that, we have to add plus c, because we're uh, integrating, right? So plus c. So now we got this. All we got to do is replace u with what we found u to be. So in this case, it's 9 plus x to the 9 over 2. So we plug it in, so we have minus 2 over 9 times the cosine of whatever u is. So 9 plus x to the 9 over 2, and then plus c. So this right here is going to be your final answer.